Tony D and Little Joan, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Dead Ringers a TV series from Prime about twin surgeons who are going to change the way women give birth. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 11. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So I'm watching this going, I know I've heard this name before, Dead Ringers. Why do I, Why does that sound familiar? And then they show them in the red surgeon's outfits, and I'm like, that looks really familiar too. And it's all w weird and intense. And I said, there was something. There was something that reminded me of something I had seen before. Here they are in the red surgeons. And finally, I stumbled upon it, Dead Ringers, 1988. David Cronenberg directed it. It starred Jeremy Irons, who plays twin surgeons. And then it's 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 David Cronenberg. Do I have to explain anymore? Um, so I guess this is based after that, but only it's women? What a weird way to <laughs> bring... Why would you do this? I mean, it looks very similar, except I think the... Surgeons in the 88 movie were plastic surgeons? Uh, this is really weird. Really weird. Uh, so, let's see if they mention the old... No, they don't mention it. Uh, so this seems like a woke female version of the original Dead Ringers movies. Now, maybe it's just coincidence and they have the same name and a similar concept, but... I think that's a pretty big coincidence that they're both twins and surgeons and they're wearing the red. I think it has to be the same movie or the same concept. One's The old one's a TV show. The current one is a... Or the old one's a movie and the current thing is a TV show. So, weird. Uh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> I mean... It just doesn't look good. It just looks weird and intense. Uh, I, I think the the sisters have some other kind of weird relationship beyond just being twins. April 21st, if you want to see it. A new series. Six episodes. Rachel Wise. Uh, the Mantle Twins. Identical from head to toe are on a mission to change the way women give birth. Starting in Manhattan. For some reason, that's important. Now, where they have the same names, let's see. No, it doesn't say their last names. It says Beverly. <laughs> Jer Jeremy Irons as Beverly. I guess that's a guy's name. Beverly and Elliot. Okay. Um, I know, Joan. It's very confusing very confusing Let, let's see what the other dead ringer see if their names are see if the one's name is Beverly I knew yeah. that had to be a thing it didn't come up the first time I searched it Rachel Wise Emily is Susan and Rachel is just says the mantle twin uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Beverly Mantle. Okay. So, the Mantle twins, Beverly Mantle and Elliot Mantle. Okay, yeah. So, this has to be the same. There's no way it's that big of a coincidence. So, they're the Mantle twins. This is a remake of Dead Ringers with Jeremy Irons. Why would you bring this back? <laughs> Why would you bring this back? It makes no sense. I, I remember this movie coming out because it was weird. I don't think it was a hit. Like, I, I I vaguely remember it, but I don't think it was a hit at all, Joan. I know, you, you, Joan's very upset about this movie for some reason. I just remember those red surgeon uniforms, which makes sense. You know, it would... It would make it look like there's no blood on it. What? What?
I know. I'm I'm analyzing the movie. Jeez, come over here. Got to be the center of every attention. Um, that's weird. Okay, I didn't see the original movie, by the way. Um, it's a six episode series. I mean, it's Cronenberg, so weird, disgusting things happen, and then everybody dies at the end, or it just ends horribly. It ends. It's a downer. It's a, it'll be a downer of an ending, a weird downer ending if it's Cronenberg. Somebody dies. I think somebody died in it. One of the twins. Um. What a weird take. It's like a, it's like a feminist take on Dead Ringers. Has something to do with women giving birth? What? What is this? <laughs> I am very confused as to why Amazon Prime would do this, doggy. Why would Amazon Prime license Dead Ringers? Did they somehow acquire it in one of their many holdings, maybe? Just said, oh, let's go through the IP catalog and jam two women in as the main characters of a movie that People barely saw in the 80s? Is, is that what they're doing now on Amazon? Is this the project you're developing, Amazon? I mean, talk about obscure. First act, I don't know. They're twins. They're weird. They're surgeons. They're full of themselves. Second act, a bunch of weird stuff happens third act one of them dies that's that's kind of what i remember from the movie i'll assume something like that happens in the tv show except one of them won't die six episodes to further explore this dark universe i guess is cronenberg making a huge comeback for some reason and is cronenberg is cronenberg involved in this I'm not seeing his name. Yeah, Cronenberg's not, not involved in this at all, apparently. So, oh, it was based on a book. Oh, so Cronenberg based it on a book. All right. Based on a book called Twins by Barry Wood. Still, though... It's still weird. And weird that Cronenberg won't kind of be involved? Uh, Cronenberg's alive, right? I think so. I know his son is making movies. Uh, not that that would help me watch the show. Would I watch the show? No. No, it, it, it does not sound good. It just sounds very um, arrogant, right? Just sounds very like, ah, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be a smart TV show. Oh, we're going to do weird and twisted things and you're going to, it's going to make you think. And then you watch it and go, what? <laughs> huh? Um, cause it, it definitely doesn't look comedic. It looks like. Another story about two surgeons who play God and then get into trouble, and there are a couple of weirdos on top of that. So maybe it adheres more to the book. Maybe Cronenberg went off the rails and made it weird for other reasons that weren't in the book, and then this brings it back to that. But I kind of doubt it since they replaced the leads with women. I'm going to assume originally the leads weren't women, and it wasn't about birthing kids, but who knows? Maybe it was. Uh, I just don't see a reason as to why Amazon would option this and think, ah, this will get people to come to Amazon Prime and watch. And this will be season one. And there will be many more adventures of two gynecologists? What? And what is this in the logo? You know what I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. They're gynecologists. So, uh, 
I guess if you want to see a movie like this, or a TV show, sorry, who is this aimed at? I gotta imagine a TV show like this is aimed at women. They're thinking it's aimed at women, but I gotta think a lot of women would be turned off by the premise. I don't think women just sit around and go, oh, if only there was more stuff with women in it, I'll watch it. Mm, no, I don't think women are wired that way. Again, I think they like to see stuff about relationships. I mean, there's some of that in this, but I, I don't think it's about relationships. I think it's about weird stuff. Weird, people going too far in their profession. Uh, and guys, guys, I don't think this has a lot of appeal to guys either. So who, who is this for? It's not for kids. So there goes that. It's, I don't think older people would like it. I don't think they like stuff like this. It's too bloody and harsh. Um, okay. So that leaves the art house crowd that the original movie was kind of aimed at. And maybe people who saw it 35 years ago. Uh, is that a lot of people? Is that enough for a TV show? To greenlight a TV show starring Rachel Wise, who probably didn't come cheap. I mean, she's got a bit of a name. Oh, man. That is just obscure. That is, that is confusing. I, uh, what is happening in Amazon? What, who is making these decisions? Are they are they going for... Oh, let's go for... Is Dennis Miller making obscure references and then they go, hey, let's make that. Um, I don't know. That I went a long way for that joke. Speaking of obscure references, yeah, I don't know why you would do this. There's so much not normal stuff <laughs> on streaming and TV that people are thirsty for and you pull this out of your A and say, hey, everybody... Huh? <laughs> I, I gotta think this will appeal to no one. Or very few people. A tiny sliver, maybe horror fans. Or, or people who just like movies that would make them uncomfortable. I, I, I just... I, I don't know anymore. I, I don't know what... Ah! Anyhow, <laughs> that's it for me. Tony D and Little Joan, who's, who's more upset than I was. Actually, she was upset she couldn't sit right here. That's, you see how calm she is now? Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, take it. Uh, I will be... Yes, uh, i got to plug my appearance tomorrow at the Florence Library in Roebling, New Jersey. Roebling. In, it's the Florence Library in Roebling. At 6.30 p.m., I'll be doing my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. And we'll see you.